Hello, welcome to another Splash Pressure Washing video diary. We're in sunny Bournemouth today and we're going to be initially applying a weed killer to this block paved area. That's going to go down, be here for about a week or so to allow it to get down into the roots of all these weeds. And then we're going to return, pressure clean the entire area and get it all looking smart and fresh again for the summer. Block paving now has had a saturation of the weed killer. I'm going to leave that to do its work and we're going to be back in just over a week to see the results. Now the weed killer is going to kill all these existing weeds. One thing it's not going to do is it's not going to stop anything in the future from seeding itself within the fresh sand. But what we do offer is a service to our customers where after we've cleaned the block paving we're happy to come back and apply just a weed killer for a nominal cost just to keep on top of your block paving. Welcome back, Splash Pressure Washing in Bournemouth in Dorset. We put the weed killer down on this block paving just over a week ago and that's been doing its work while we've been away and as you can see everything's browned off, all the weeds are dead. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to pressure clean all this block paving, get it all looking smart and fresh and ready for re-sanding and essentially this block paving really will clean up as new. Keep watching. So Callum's on the surface cleaner. He's doing the majority of all the block paving cleaning but being a round circular machine it's unable to get into all the corners so I've been using an edging tool to get to all the areas that the surface cleaner can't get to. So underneath that bowl there's some powerful jets, currently jet washing the surface of the block paving, taking away the dirt and the grime. And it's difficult to see but underneath there, the paving that's underneath is now very clean. All the edging work is now complete, we've re-established the border to the grass. We've got a bit of a, a problem with the water and all the muck, but it's nothing of any concern. We can deal with all of this. So Callum's going to continue on the surface cleaner. I'm going to start collecting up some of this muck from a good old uh, clear up and we'll start looking at how we're going to deal with some of this excess water. So unfortunately the downside of Jet washing is that it does become messier before it actually gets cleaner, but by the end of this video, this patio and surrounding areas will be immaculate. Welcome back. So the pressure clean is now complete. All we're left with is a little bit of resting water just down in this lower section. We're just going to let that settle. Um, it's not going to cause us a problem at all. But as you can see, everything's been rinsed down. Everything's immaculate. All the walls, all the windows, the outside of the conservatory there has had a good clean. And now we're ready for some fungicidal wash. What the fungicidal wash is going to do, is it's going to eliminate this black spotting that you can see on the edge of the blocks and it's quite prominent in areas every block paved driveway is different this one is not so heavily spotted but it will benefit from having a fungicidal wash so we're going to pop that down now and that's really going to take this block paving to another level and then the final stage will be to brush some fresh kiln dried sand in which we'll do in a nice dry day. The pressure cleaning is now all completed, the fungicidal wash has gone down and that's done its job. It's got rid of all the black spotting and just helped bring back all the colours to the block paving. 
as you can see the block paving really has cleaned up as new got a couple of little spots where there's some resting water but it's nothing to be concerned about we're now going to leave the block paving for probably a couple of days to allow it to dry out and then we're going to brush in some fresh kiln dried sand and then it's going to be complete so i hope you enjoyed the video we shall have some closing pictures with the final product and uh, thanks for taking the time to watch the video Thank you.